We've been testing nanotubes for about 18 to 20 months now, and uh, we've got good results in the areas of uh, conductivity, uh, conducting uh, uh, materials, and we've also got uh, good results in the improvement of strength of materials. I think these are two areas which we have uh, successfully achieved. I think we use uh, two ball, we basically, I don't know, I don't know the uh, grades, but we use uh, some kind of a dispersion. We use a material which is in the form of a paste or a dispersion. Uh, the end products are either electrical industry for boxes uh, and uh, also automotive industry for uh, uh, electric cars, battery boxes and covers, and also certain parts for mechanical strength improvements uh, of uh, of automotive industry. I think in the area of conducting DMC, we have succeeded and I think that is already on the market more or less. It has just begun. I think the commercial uh, d you know, selling of these products, has, uh, dispatches has just begun. Uh, on the strength improvement, uh, I don't think a big commercial uh, supplies have started, but I think it should start soon. I would think it will jump at least five to ten fold. Uh, we are at the moment with Oxial working on about five projects. We are, each one of them has a special, uh, what you call, uh, set of objectives and what we want to achieve. And what I described to you as two successes is basically only two out of those five projects. Uh, out of these five, one is done, the second one is nearly there, and the three projects we are still doing some work. Now, if I look at these five projects, I think there will be a significant uh, commercial relationship between uh, Oxial and us. But I don't think that is the limiting part. I think we believe that what we gain from these uh, five projects will open up areas for more applications of those possibilities because we can then start going to more and more customers because uh, seeing is believing and once we experience that and once we uh, learn, we have, for example, we have started a lot of prototyping work on certain parts, metal parts, and we convert them into uh, convert them into uh, uh, to, to uh, composite parts and uh, that's where the nano, uh, single wall uh, carbon nanotubes also can pitch in and help us reduce the thicknesses and the weight and durability, strength of these parts. So I believe that in five years uh, the saying goes that the kind of possibilities that exist today uh, will be outdated and we'll have new possibilities. I think we'll have a very whole new set of possibilities is what my guess is. Mm -hmm. I'm not a technologist. I don't know this technology. Yes, I know a little bit about SMC and DMC and molding, but I don't know too much about this technology. But I know the way it is uh, able to disrupt certain things, you know. I think the potential will be very, very significant.